my parents said that you're not going to feel sorry for yourself. You're not just going to sit in the house on the couch. You're going to get out and you're just going to be a normal person in society. I lost my sight at age 10 um, due to too many eye surgeries and my eyes filled with scar tissue. I was a student here at UCCS from 2006 and 2012. That was also the first blind person to actually go through the mechanical engineering program. I definitely knew I was going to go into some type of engineering, and I definitely was leaning towards mechanical. Because even during my childhood, I would play with a lot of Legos and Kinects and toys like that, and I couldn't read the book, so I had to come up with my own mechanical things. So the first semester. One of the great things about being an engineer is that what we endeavor to do is solve problems. And so when Terry came into the engineering program and he was without sight, it was a problem. It wasn't a problem that we worried about. It was a problem that we endeavored to solve. I run the senior design program and we bring in external sponsors. And so I contacted Terry to see if he had any ideas of projects that he'd like to see the students work on. And he came up with a great one. I can't swim straight to save my life because I can't see the little black line that <laughs> usually visual people follow. So what did they come up with for you? So they came up with uh, basically a bunch of small boxes that would emit a, a beeping sound that was quite obnoxious when above water. But once it gets <laughs> under the water, and I can tell if I'm close to it, if I'm far away, if I need to readjust. Also, boxes placed at each end to know when I'm getting near the end of the pool. I would say there's a correlation between my wanting to be an engineer and how I live my life as a blind person. The problem solving that I use day to day with my engineering skills definitely applies to my day to day life as a blind person. I'm hoping that I will be able to come up with new projects to bring back to UCCS to inspire other um, students within the engineering program. I would say I don't define myself as a blind person, but I define myself as someone who's overcome major challenges and is always striving to try new activities and new ways to push myself to not only make myself feel more accomplished, but to help inspire others. I want to be a light out there for other people, blind and sighted. I'm certainly hopeful that you'll stay connected to us, at the very least, continuing to interact with our students through project sponsoring and continuing to inspire them. Yeah, as long as you'll have me. Um, as long as you'll come. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zaport. Good girl.